Okay, you're all set up. You've got your MAMP or WAMP set up. WordPress is installed. Uh, hopefully, perhaps you have your multi-site set up. And here's the big test right here. When you type in localhost WP admin. And for my situation here, I'm going to get rid of the index.php, which will work also, but... Once you're all set up with your local server and you type in localhost WP admin and you hit enter, you get this magical little login thing right here on your very own computer. Woohoo! And then I'm just going to click, put in my password. Do I click login? Oh, what a slow connection for being on my own hard drive. And here we go. This is what you should be seeing right here. Localhost, WP Agmin, Agmin, whatever you named your site right here. And with a multi-site setup, you can go to My Sites, Network Admin, da da da, -da And you can click here and see all of your sites. Now, I've made up many sites at this point. I'm just, I'm, I'm just going to click my sites button. Okay, and, and I've got sites here for some of my projects going on. Got my Lydia site, Mary Beth site, Janice site. Um, and if I click on any one of these, I can hover over them and just go to the dashboard of any of these. But look closely at these names and specifically look at this name right here test 101 we're going to use that in a second if you're totally new to this product process to add a new site all you do is click the add new sites button and again to get here I went to my sites network admin sites and once you get to sites then I just come in here and click the Add New button. So you're all logged into WordPress. You're logged into WordPress. Now let's go into Dreamweaver and get you all set up so that we're all connected. What you want to do is you're going to go to the Site drop-down menu. And you will go to new site. Now I'm going to go to manage sites because I'm all set up, but you will go to new site. And I go to manage sites and this thing's going to pop up. And what's going to happen is if you go to new site, it's going to give you that new site menu, which is going to take you into this environment right here. Now, um, site name, MAMP test site, you can call that anything you want. Notice I have spaces in there, which I would never do for any type of file name or anything connected to a database or any type of HTTP, uh, .html or PHP address. I would never do that. But, but for site name, you can have spaces. Just don't start it with a special character, and you'll be okay. The important part is here where it says local site folder. Um, I double-clicked this little thingy right here, and I browsed, and I found my Applications folder, my MAMP folder, and then I found my htdocs folder. And that's it. That's it. Now, th no, that's not it yet. Now, the important thing is to come in here after you get this set up and to go to Servers. And... Uh, once you get in here, you may have to click the plus sign to click Add New Server. I'm already set up, so I'm going to double-click Mine. Notice that Testing Server is checked, not Remote. And so once you click that plus sign, it's going to take you into this environment here. Notice I have Basic selected right here, Local testing. The important part right here is connect using local network. 
local network as opposed to these other options, blah, blah, blah. Local network, server folder, again, it's applications, map, da, da, da. And, and, and a little few minutes ago, I was saying, hey, notice the name of this site. Notice the name of this site. Notice this site is called Test 101. Notice there are no spaces. Of course, you can use uppercase, lowercase. You do not want to type, you do not want to start the name of your site with any special characters. Uh, something alpha, uh, uppercase, lowercase is fine. So if you call this Jim Bob's Farm, you would have HTTP, localhost, Jim Bob's Farm, all one word. Uppercase and lowercase is cool, but that's it. Once you get in this information, um, one thing I don't like that like about this is if we were doing this with an FTP connection, Dreamweaver has the test connection option, which doesn't show up here. I don't like that. I would like to be able to click a button, test connection, make sure that we're connected to the MAMP server. It's not here, but that's okay. I'm just going to click, for me, you, you'll click save. You will click save, and then you will click done, and now it's time for the magic to begin. Um, in, uh, you'll see the name of your site right up here. Mine is called MAMP Test Site. Whatever you call yours could be Freddy's Bougelet, whatever. In your directory here, it'll show you all of the WordPress WordPress default files and folders, and you're interested in this one, index.php. And I just double click index.php, da 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 da. And here you go, here's, here's the page right here. Index.php, I'm in code mode. I'm going to go into design mode, and this is what you will see nothing, nothing, just a blank white page because the only way you're going to see this is if you click the live button and now notice up here it says localhost.test101 we are in this is our wordpress site yippee dippy dippy you did it you connect you made your map server you have your multi-site or your wordpress site set up you're connected to dreamweaver and now you can go in and edit a WordPress theme. In our next title, we'll go into the, uh, the, uh, all the fun, good stuff that you can do. Remember, these uh, videos are made to take in conjunction with my live one-on-one -on -one classes. And I believe uh, I may be able to give you a special rate if you call or email me today.